Okay. Well, first of all, it's a pleasure to be on your program. And, uh, you know, when you talk about inflation, it's kind of like cholesterol. There's good cholesterol and bad cholesterol. What we're experiencing right now in Japan is bad inflation. What that means is it's a cost push inflation where costs have gone up, but wages have not gone up accordingly. Therefore, you know, uh, as a retailer, you're really squeezed because uh, all of your costs have gone up, but you're not able to really pass on that cost to, to the consumer. And uh, so we have been, uh, you know, kind of in a difficult situation um, right now. I mean, uh, when the Bank of Japan was looking at 2% um, inflation target, they were looking where there'd be a demand pull inflation, where actually wages would come up and you'd go into a virtual cycle where then people would buy and then, and then prices would go up and wages would go up, especially when 60% of Japan's GDP is consumer spending. So this has been the critical issue that hasn't moved the needle in terms of our economic recovery. So it's been very weak. And as you know, we've been in deflation for the, over 30 years. And, and now we've had this pandemic that has affected us. So this point of a 2%, uh, uh, less than 2% inflation has been a cost push. Uh, the only way to deal with this, of course, obviously, is, a, 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 is to try to you know, change your product mix. We can't just, we, we've had to increase our prices. As of March, we increased you know, 5 to 10% depending upon the products. It does not cover uh, the increase in costs. And, uh, and so we have to really look at it as well as um, jigger our product mix. And so how can we say some more drinks, which has more profitability? Um, and as you know, at one time due to supply chain issues, we didn't have French fries in Japan. So that was a whole nother issue altogether, separate from pricing. But you mentioned the yen. The yen exchange is very important because Japan imports 60% of its food not to mention 99% of this energy. And so this has uh, caused a, a huge issue. Um, you know, we've um, originally looking at around 115 yen to the dollar, and all of a sudden, in a few weeks, it went over to 131, now it's at around, around 126. But this is an extreme cost. And so uh, I also import food. And if you import food, you can't even uh, fix your cost, much less than uh, how do you figure out your, your, your selling price. And so uh, this has been a difficult issue, not only for myself, but, but for, for the whole industry. Hi, I'm Emily Tan, and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.